What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Banking Creek Fishing. Today we're hitting the creek with a lure that everyone in the country is familiar with and that is a spinnerbait. We're going to talk about today why you need to have a spinnerbait for creek wading and what makes it an important lure to use in the early fall. Get in here. What do we got? Oh yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh man! Is that awesome? Catching them on the spinnerbait. Spotted bass. Oh man. Let me tell you a little bit about why this fish bit the spinnerbait. Spinnerbait, it's really easy to cast. It has a low barrier of entry whenever it hits the water, but it comes over everything super easy because that head, how it's weighted, that's always gonna be what hits that cover first. It's gonna hit something and then it's gonna roll, it's gonna flash with those blades and that's what made that fish bite. Look at that, oh, he came after it. Oh, man, he missed it again. There he is, got him that time. Get in here, buddy. That was awesome, man. He waked that spinnerbait three times. That is why he fished a spinnerbait. That fish came up and missed it. I pulled it up on top, kind of popped it a few times, missed it again, then he got it right before I jerked him in. That is awesome. Quit it, buddy. Oh, man, a nice little smallmouth, too. You see, they get it right in the top of their mouth. That's cool thing about a spinnerbait is you can work it so many different ways. You can pop it. Man, that was awesome. Oh, he bit me. <laughs> All right, guys, we just caught that awesome smallmouth, but we reached a really great spot that we can break down how to fish this spinnerbait effectively. It's a deep spot, kind of like a channel bend in a lake. It's got rocks, wood, man, it's got lots of lay down trees. Perfect place to throw the spinnerbait. I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to throw it and how you need to fish it. Got our first couple of trees right here. How I'm gonna do this? Man, I'm gonna throw it and just parallel on the side of a tree. I'm gonna pick that spinnerbait, I'm gonna kick it. First cast, man, I'm just gonna try and reel this thing, try to keep it right underneath the surface pop my rod and then I'm just gonna move down as I'm going I'm just gonna move I'm just gonna fish different parts of the tree you know just cast to the deepest spot of it that I can but you want this thing you want to bump into cover there's one what do we got here get in here buddy oh yeah what do we got oh man a black purse that's cool he won the spinnerbait too we got some really killer stuff over here, kind of over the top of some trees, and you gotta walk to it carefully. You never wanna just jump in a creek and just start busting around, jumping, making a lot of noise. That's gonna scare bass away. But we wanna get over there and make some cast to all this really cool cover sitting here. Sometimes you kinda gotta be a, gotta be an expert caster. You need to be able to lay this thing up as good as you can, and you catch one. <laughs> Once again, he ain't a bass, but still he's fun to catch. Let's further break down why spinnerbait's effective right now. This is the early fall. This is a great time period to fish spinnerbait because bass get heavily keyed in on shad, minnows, bait fish, that type of stuff. You know, a minnow, a shad, anything like that, whenever it actually goes from side to side, it flashes, it has a lot of shine to it, just like this spinnerbait. Anytime I pop it, it makes these blades flash. It mimics the same exact thing. It just looks like a small school of bait. That's why it's so effective right now. Spinner bait, just like a crankbait, this is a reaction bite. To keep that thing moving, you want to pop your rod tip, you want to make those blades turn, you want to get the bait to move a little bit, because that's how you're going to get your bites. Nine times out of ten, you're probably going to get a bite whenever you cast it in, it lands, and you start bringing it back, because that's a reaction. The thing's moving differently. Get in here. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Get in here, man. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Nice small mouth. Oh man, that is awesome. Guys, find you a nice creek this fall. Open up Google Maps and find it. Get you some spinner baits that match the water clarity. Go catch you some bass and have some fun.